So what's up, I'm Hunter. Um, Derek asked me to uh, be part of a couple of his videos because um, I'm gonna be honest, I like making guns that look like they're out of video games. So this is uh, this monstrosity right here that has been done up in a Mad Max Fallout sense is a uh, Gwyn Bushmaster rifle. So this is from early 80s, late 70s. This was the development by a guy named Matt Gwynn. He originally developed what's called the Bushmaster Arm Pistol. Uh, Military Arms Channel has a great video on that. It's it's a goofy looking thing. It's a long stroke piston um, <laughs> with an AR-15 bolt. Um, and the recoil spring is actually up inside the gas tube on the gas piston, kind of like SIG did. But um, like I said, this is, this is 70s. 70s at its finest, but um, <laughs> when I got this, this thing was an absolute basket case. I picked this up for, God, um, significantly cheaper than a budget AR-15, we'll put it that way. <laughs> I, I remember when you picked it up, it was... Uh... It was it was terrible. It was, um, <laughs> well, first of all, it doesn't look like there are holes drilled straight from the factory, so this front, um, I don't want to call that a trunnion, I don't know what that is, but... The holes aren't drilled parallel from the factory, so I figured I'd keep that going. Um, I put an optics rail on it using pieces of uh, aluminum lab equipment. Um, this is actually a taper fit, so I uh, this is actually tapped on there and held in with set screws, and then another one going into the wood. Um, I, I did this because, honestly, I originally just wanted the rifle, but when I got it, uh, it, it, was, it was rusty, it was way way worse than the pictures made it look and uh when i learned that the stock was originally wood i was like okay cool well let's let's sand it down get it stained a little bit darker make it look like walnut maybe i'll put a thompson foregrip on it or something and when i sanded it down i realized that um i'm not sure if they did this from the factory or if it was a previous owner but the wood was in fact dry rotted under here and had been coated in what i think was bondo <laughs> <laughs> and coated in a horrific black crinkle truck bed liner type finish um, to reveal wood that was about the color and consistency of soap. Oh, no. So I could not get it stained dark enough. So at this point, I figured it was just the ugliest thing in the world. So why not make it uglier and at least practical? <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. And... Um, I guess Derek just wanted me to show it off for some reason, but the uh, the Albonian Coast Guard would be happy to have such an anti-piracy rifle. Oh yeah, it does great against pirates. <laughs> hey, honestly, this is a rifle that Ian should be that Ian from uh, Forgotten Weapon should be checking out. Hey, look at that, the and M9 Bay. Actually, we have a uh, a three D printed uh, bayonet lug on here, <laughs> and uh, nothing nothing is Albonian without it's... something goofy, and we have a. Uh, Chinese Triangle 36, 120 round drum for it. <laughs> so that, that pretty much, uh, oddly enough, this thing has been uh, dead nuts reliable. Um, the only, the only actual malfunction I had with it was the uh, head of the gas piston is threaded on, and that backed off um, after a couple hundred rounds. I put Loctite on it, and it's been probably 500 more rounds since. Haven't had an issue. Um, it is. A shockingly reliable and accurate piece of trash. Can't verify. It's extremely robust. I just, I freaking love this thing. Like, true, true freaking post-apocalyptic hood rat shit right here. And you know what? It freaking works. It is... Uh, it's one of those, you know, a face only a mother would love, but at the same time, brings all the boys to the yard. Like, this thing is... I'm only here for the rum. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. This thing is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I, I just, I had to show people that. It's just, it's just, it's too good. It's too good. Hey, if you ever need any other, uh, any other Frankenstein gunsmithing content, just let me know and I'll be happy to oblige. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll definitely make some more content like that in the future and get things covered. And, uh, yeah, no. But this thing... <sighs> An original Bushmaster rifle that's been turned into a masterpiece. Something straight out of Fallout. That's what Something I was straight out of Fallout. And it works. It works. It fucking works. It's amazing.
Give me some likes and I'll uh, I'll film myself going to a Pat McNamara class with that, and that's no joke. Oh my God, you should go to a T Max course with it. Oh my God, Pat, I, I, Pat, if you freaking see this man, get this guy out here with this thing. You're gonna hate and love it. It's it's great. It's <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, good shit, good shit, man. Like yeah. So, this is my buddy Hunter. Cheers, folks. You know, he's got that Doc Holiday facial hair going on. I'm your Huckleberry. Thanks, guys. See you later.